No, we're gonna go in the backyard. We're gonna go in the backyard. The world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Good morning, landing crew, and welcome to today's vlog. Lex, our almost six-year-old, has been doing amazing as far as safety. He's not eloping anymore, but we are having this issue, and we had this issue with Noah too, but we just weren't in an area that could help him. So Lex has this issue where he keeps unbuckling his car seat and getting out, and at first it was just like his chest clipped and then it ended up becoming more. We didn't think there was a solution. We looked online, we talked to special needs groups. There just wasn't an, an option that was feasible, like a little adapter. We tried everything. We were venting about it one day and our physical therapist, who is amazing, she was like, you know that, you know, the medical supply company and insurance would cover a special adaptive car seat for him that he couldn't get out of. And we were like, a what? What are you even talking about? We actually ended up having to have our occupational therapist do it through the insurance, but Colorado's amazing. <laughs> Colorado's amazing. So I'm going to show you guys the car seat. I don't know what state insurance will pay for it. Our kids are on the waiver, so they are on Medicaid. So Medicaid paid for it. If your child has this issue, I would definitely check with your local medical supply company. Usually they'll know if insurance will pay for it or not. We had to have it go through our occupational therapist. It's taken months. Like this happened months ago. It's taken a while. The car seat is here today. So I'm going to show it to you guys, show it to you guys installed and just kind of bring you along on our day. The uh, younger kids had speech therapy that you guys saw. Bear with me while I get back into the groove of vlogging again. Ah, ah, ah. So this is, this is the car seat. It's, <laughs> Liam's struggling today, okay. With this, it comes off very easily, just like that. It has an incontinent cover. So if there are any accidents or anything like that, you can just kind of take it off, but that's not why we got it, obviously. This is why we got it. You basically just put like a key or something in and turn it. And then in here, you just put a finger in and you can do it that way. I'm trying to talk to the YouTubers. <laughs> or you can put like a key in here as well, um, but your finger goes in, but Lex won't be able to fit his finger in that way. And that is basically it on the fanciness of it. Um, it will grow with him, which is amazing. So there's a lot of, a lot of things. It doesn't have an anchor, but it does in a sense. Like that's what you use at the top. And then the seat belt goes through here. This is for reclining. That's basically it. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's also insanely expensive for a car seat, if I'm being honest. I don't know why it's so expensive. I'm not seeing it, but it was $1,600 with everything. Just the car seat was almost $1,100. Obviously insurance paid for it. So we're very, very lucky. I was actually just talking to Liam's therapist about it, how ridiculous, <laughs> how ridiculous it is, how expensive they make all the special needs equipment and most of the time it's for safety so I don't understand why they don't make things more affordable because yes Colorado pays for a lot but what if your child doesn't have Colorado Medicaid what if your insurance in the state you are isn't going to pay for it so I would just check with your medical supply company ch check with your insurance talk to your occupational therapist a lot of times the therapist will know what therapies will pay for and what they won't or what insurance will pay for. Lex gets out of school in a little bit. As I think I explained in his update, he goes to school until about 1245. And then he comes home and does like supplements ABA for the rest. We'll see how it works. I think Lonnie is going to be installing it soon. Not even sure where he went. I, I lost a husband. It's fine. <laughs>
guys, look how cute the bow looks. Liam. Liam. You're so cute. You're so cute. He loves watching Mario now, but yeah, so our living room's as clean as it's getting today. Lex is home from school. Do you like your new car seat, Lex? What's car seat? The orange car seat. Do you like it? Who got it for me? Um, a lot of people did. All right, guys, we're gonna show you how Lex's new car seat works. Let's go. I meant to do it when he came home, but I was busy chatting with the therapist. It's a little chilly out here. So Lonnie already installed it. He did a, an amazing job, amazing job. So this is what it kind of looks like in the car. Lex is gonna drive apparently. <laughs> and we get questions about the kids like being rear facing. I will talk about that in a second. Let's show them how it's done. Come on. I think actually it has to come all the way up first. It goes around his, above his head initially. So that way he can't maneuver out of the harness. Gotcha. So this has to go right here. Loosen the straps up some. So this is how you loosen the straps. And then this one clicks here. You can just lock it. You can't get out now, buddy. <laughs> All right. You're capturing me. <laughs> Daddy's capturing you. Yeah. He can't. He can't get out of it. Okay, so Lonnie can reach in here and do that, and then he can get out. Now with these, it's important to carry some seat belt cutters, right? Yes. Right? Yes. So that, so that way- right be, here. So he has one. So it cuts basically if you're in an emergency. Yeah, if it's anything, like you, you, you can just put something in and do it. So this way that we, that we can be safe. Usually we don't have this issue unless we're traveling long yeah, distances and then- much to get okay. them out. All right guys, so I actually did not talk about this in the vlog. Uh, Liam, you want to turn that down? Ba, ba, black. She have you any more? <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. Okay. Well, mommy's got to talk to YouTubers. All right. So basically, I wanted to update this just because it's not really a big deal, but I feel like it kind of goes with the car seat because we do get a lot of comments. We have been rear facing Liam for a really long time. He's almost four, Penelope's almost three. So kind of the plan on that is once Liam is four, we will actually turn him around forward facing. And when we do that, we'll also turn Penelope around as well. Now, this is a choice that of course, every parent decides how long they want to. The recommendation is is two. Um, we've done it past that point just because like, why not? I feel like if we're, we're switching one kid, we're gonna switch the other. It's worked well so far for those who are like, oh, well, it's uncomfortable. Even with Liam, ah. <laughs> even with Liam having to put his feet up and things like that, it's not like uncomfortable for him. We've driven to Texas, 18 hour trips, and it is completely fine. Um, at the end of the day, of course, at the end of the day, safety is the biggest thing for us. And since we are talking about car seats on this, I figured I would include that in there. If you're wanting to extend rear face, like past age two, I know a lot of parents are like, well, it just seems like it'd be very uncomfortable for them. It's never been an issue for us. Anyway, again, as a parent, you have to make the choice that you feels the best for you. Hi, Liam. It's Friday. So you, you, you guys are going to see this kind of after the fact, the last vlog was Halloween, right? Halloween. She's talking so much, guys. Literally, literally. Like, I think she has like 20 to 25 words now. It is, it is crazy. Nellie, no ma'am, back to your regular scheduled program. Uh, we are not locking daddy out, come on. Classic cliche, we're on the run. This is what we waited for. Nellie, what are you doing? You trying to put it back? This is why we can't have nice things. Be gentle. So she only does that stem now, like when she's really excited. That's how we know she's really excited. Uh, I 
Make a Kawa. It's Alyssa. <laughs> the wrong person. This, this goes to more than Aunt Melissa. This goes to 146,000 people. Isn't that crazy? I think, I think all the kids are kind of getting used to me vlogging again because they're like, all day, are like, what, what's going on? I love you. I love you too. Are you gonna say bye to Michaela? How many sleeps are you One sleep. One sleep. Just one sleep. He loves Michaela so much. Not go on the trampoline, Missy. She's walking a lot better today, aren't you? So I got off the phone with our construction engineer people and we have found an architect for the house. So that's exciting. The price is not exciting, but that was kind of what I've done today. And I'm gonna help Lonnie with a little bit with packaging orders for the business. We got stuff to do. It's just a regular day with here. All the therapists are on, so my house is quiet. Always feels weird when that happens. See, she's she's walking a little a little funny, but not too bad. She started this new stem where she like swats in front of her eyes now. <sighs> I forgot how much I love capturing moments of the kids, so it feels nice to kind of be back in back in the swing of things. I do hope this car seat video helped anyone that needs help. I kind of mentioned it. Today's video was the one about like autism, medical and educational diagnosis kind of thing. Um, and I mentioned it in a pinned comment, I think. But next year we will be starting a website for resources for special needs families. I just feel like there isn't a lot of information. I would like to eventually turn it into a nonprofit organization. That's that's always been the goal, but I can't say that that's gonna happen next year. I hope it does, but we'll just kind of see. Nellie did good with her glasses today, right? Right? Oh my God, oh my God, guys, so. Before I close up the vlog, Lex went to go get Penelope some corn dogs and they were frozen and he comes back and he goes, my hands hurt from getting Penelope's freezing, freezing corn dogs. And Penelope says, sigh. <laughs> I don't know if she meant to, but she's literally, I'll probably have to do a different video about her, but like every day it's like she learns new words. So she is doing so good. She just, she's starting to look like a little three-year-old. Oh, but we're really excited to get into into the holiday season. That's it. Again, if your child has the same issue as Alex does, the first step would be an occupational therapist. Talk to them. See if they think that that's something that could benefit from. Um, there are some adapters for car seats that you can get on Amazon that would work possibly. For us, unfortunately, it was not an option. Not an option because he kept undoing the chest clip. Did you come back inside to get some corn dogs? Do you want to say bye to the YouTubers? No! All right, Lex doesn't want to be on camera. Sorry, guys. I love you all. We'll see you later. Bye! Oh, now you want to be on? Bye! Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see. And leave the rest behind Oh, oh, oh Cause you will always be there